Greetings, Ben Murray here with another edition of SaaS Metro School. Welcome. So today, addressing an email that I received from Meritech Software Pulse, a newsletter where they crunched the latest software public company data and the, the SaaS metrics that we can gather from those public company filings. Yesterday, covered net dollar retention and those trends. So today, talking about implied ARR per FTE. So we know org efficiency is so important in scaling our private SaaS business. I've covered this in the last couple, in the recent episodes, talking about org efficiency, talking about the Rose metric, about common traits that I see with private SaaS companies who have nice EBITDA, who have nice positive cash flow. Org efficiency is so important, especially if you're struggling with cash flow, struggling with cash burn and trying to inc increase your cash runway, you have to look at org efficiency, especially the Rose metric, which I covered a couple episodes ago. But today, talking about Meritech's newsletter here, an implied ARR per FTE. Now, they are using implied ARR, and we are saying implied because, right, we don't know a point in time for public companies and what they disclose, what their ARR is at a point in time. So we're taking their revenue number for a quarter and then annualizing it to, to get implied ARR. And what we're seeing right now in the latest quarter that was reported, Q2 of 2023, public software companies reporting 315,000 of revenue per implied, I'm sorry, 350,000 of revenue per FTE on an implied AR basis. And that's increased over the last three quarters. So it's been 316, 306, 311 from Q4 2022 to Q2 of 2023. Now it's interesting, this trend has increased looking at this chart. Not a surprise. It's been difficult. You know, the markets are more difficult. It's harder to sell to new customers. It's harder to keep existing customers. Check them out. Check out yesterday's episode because we'll see how NDR has become more difficult to maintain. But on the flip side, we're getting more revenue or ARR per FTE, which makes sense. We're focused more on efficiency, cash runways, profit growing efficiently and effectively. Because prior to that, if I look at Q3 2022 and back in history on this chart, it was at 281, then 274, 267. So it's been fluctuating, but the last three quarters are the highest per this chart going back to Q3 of 2019. So I know kind of hard to visualize this. I'm looking at this chart, you know, but you could probably go to Meritex uh, site and check this out as well. But efficiency has improved within public SaaS companies. And this is so important, especially for private SaaS. Maybe we're not at, you know, of course, those 300K levels, but generally we want to be, say, above 150K. And, and for the Rose metric, around $2 of recurring revenue for every dollar of employee investment and contractor investment. So when you think about our SaaS PL, the biggest investment on our SaaS PL is people, whether that's employees and or contractors. So make sure you calculate some of these metrics, benchmark these metrics for your SaaS business. And understand historically, and then especially in the 12 month forecast, where is this going? If, it, if you need to improve efficiency, we need these charts moving up and to the right. So just a quick review of Meritech Software Pulse's latest newsletter on some public company SaaS metrics trends.